they um i think they took it off so if you want to fly internationally you don't even have to have a shot anymore i really hope not because i'm supposed to fly internationally so yeah i don't trust the vaccines no i just don't want to put something in my body where it's not needed to be put i have a terminal illness chronic illness, I mean, lupus. So for me, if I were to get the vaccine, I would get sick. Because in whenever you get a vaccine, they give you a little bit of the sickness in order for your immune system to build a um, like barrier against it for if you were ever to get it again, so then you can fight it off. And for me, when I get sick, I get really, really sick. And I ended up in the hospital. So they didn't want to take the chance of me getting sick or ending up in the hospital just for a fucking vaccine that I'm not even gonna use. Like I, I got COVID one time. It was bad. <laughs> like with my lupus, I already have a very, very weak immune system and I was in pain. I was not having a great time. But at the same time, I'd much rather risk that than risk getting the vaccine and ending up in the hospital for days on end, not knowing when I'm going to get out because of something that I have no idea what they put in my body. Normal vaccines take years to process. The COVID vaccine took not even a year. That is sus. You're telling me that you could make a COVID vaccine within less than a year, but you can't find a cure for cancer yet? It, it, it just it doesn't make any sense to me like the healthcare system is so fucked they give us these horrible things in our food so we get sick so they can get paid <laughs> what <laughs> like <laughs> oh shit Yeah, I don't know, y'all. Vaccines, no thanks. Personal opinion, not gonna change my mind. The answer is N-O. Fuck no. Plus, like, COVID is so last year. Like, I haven't heard about someone having COVID in so fucking long. Like, someone that I know, at least. It's still out there, and it's a horrible thing. But compared to what it used to be, it's not, it's not bad. So you're, dude, get out of my comment section. That's what I'm saying, dude. I saw some, some, like, some documentary or something where some guy literally found the cure for cancer and, like, told people about it and then, like, mysteriously died, like, a couple days later. Like, I've seen so many things where, I saw this thing on TikTok this morning also, where there was, like, an, an underground world underneath our ocean like there's an under underneath sea from our ocean or something like that and some guy that like owns a submarine and can go really really deep in the ocean he found it and he like was taking videos and like showing people like this whole new world underneath the ocean and then he died in a helicopter crash like I just think it's weird that these people come out with these new, this new information or do these new things and then they die days later. Like it doesn't make any sense. Hmm. Not gonna talk about that one though. How's Florida? Uh, it's decent, still, still adjusting. It's still kind of hard, but I mean, it's only, it's like my third week here, so it's not too bad. I still have to wait to um, adjust because like so far right now, since it's only been like almost three weeks now, it still feels like a vacation and not like my home if that makes sense. Like, I feel like 
the second month then it'll feel more like home but for right now i still feel like i'm on vacation like this doesn't feel like permanent permanent i feel like i don't know